it's Asha and today I have got a collective haul of some stuff that I have picked up over the past month or two. I really thought that I didn't have that much stuff but then I compiled it in the pile that you can probably see behind me and realized that I do. So it's probably going to be a bit of a long video. Most of the things I am showing you guys in today's video I have purchased from online stores because I do a ton of online shopping. I do most of my shopping online. So before I get started I wanted to mention a new checkout system that Visa has come out with. So basically it's called Visa Checkout and it just makes the whole process of checking out of an online website so much faster and so much more just you don't have to enter all of your details you don't have to enter your address your name your card details it basically just makes the online shopping experience a lot faster which means you're going to be able to save a ton of time and be able to do lots of online shopping. <laughs> the easiest way to check out of an online website so I will have links in the description to the Visa Checkout website where you guys can go and check it out. They have a ton of online stores that are already using it so yeah let's just get started. So starting nice and simple I picked up this Strix Band Tee off eBay. I am obsessed with band tees. It has started being one of my collective addictions and if you guys can tell by the amount of clothes I own and the amount of makeup I own and the amount of records that I own that I'm kind of addicted when it comes to collecting things and I've started another collecting addiction which probably isn't good but yeah I really love band t-shirts and I've been loving the strokes so I picked this one up. The next couple of items are from a brand called Stitch and Hide and my cousin actually started this brand which is really cool and he has some awesome stuff so I'll have a link to his website in the description box down below. So the first thing is this little black clutch bag so it's just black leather oh like this is the softest thing I've ever felt in my life I could use this as a pillow. The front is just plain black and has his logo indented there and on the other side it's got the Stitch and Hide name and it has this little loophole so you can hold it around your arm. I really like the zipper because it's really nice and thick and I don't know it's like really fun to zip. I'm really weird. Inside they have it has a ton of different compartments so for your cards, for your money and what I've been doing with this is I basically will put all of my important things in it so I have like my phone, my iPod, my keys, my cards, my cash and I will take it and I'll put it in my bag which is for uni or whatever and take it with me and it's really nice and handy to have this little clutch with everything that's super important to me inside it. Or I'll just take this alone with me if I'm going for a grocery shop or going out or something. It's a really versatile item and I think they have it in a ton of different colours so I'll be sure to link this in the description bar. And then the next item from him is this brown leather belt. So it has all this really pretty flower detailing along it and I love it because because there are so many little flowers and holes you can adjust the belt to pretty much however you'd like. So there's a lot of different adjustments and it looks really pretty. The next item is this grey turtleneck loose sweater jumper type Thing. That was a really long name for a piece of clothing, but this was actually gifted to me by a couple of my friends for my 20th birthday, which was last month. And yeah, I absolutely love it. I've been wearing it at least twice a week. It is my go-to top for uni. The next top I purchased from H&M, and it is this sparkly grey, grey? No, black, Asha. <laughs> cropped top with long sleeves. It is super soft and you guys might have seen this. I mentioned it in my monthly favourites this month. It's really soft and perfect for just a night out, especially since it's been getting a little bit cooler in Brisbane. The next item is a belt. I'm sure you can all hear it. It is this coin belt which I, whoa, this coin belt and I picked it up from Princess Polly and it is stretchy elastic and yeah, basically it just has all these coins along the front. So you clip it together like so around your waist or whatever and I don't know, it really just makes any outfit look so much more my style so I've been wearing it with a lot of things and I will definitely be taking this to Splendor with me because I love it. Moving on, I have got a couple of skirts from Universal Store. They have a deal going on. I think it's still going on at the moment. I will have links in the description if it is, where you can basically get two skirts for the price of $50 and they are actually really nice, good quality, basic skirts. So I picked up two of these A-line ones. 
The first one is this black color. It's just a plain black denim. And the thing I like about these is that I am six foot tall, which means I have lots of legs. Lots of legs. My legs are really long, which means that a lot of skirts and dresses on me are generally really short, but I love these because they're actually a little bit longer. So that's a complete bonus. And I've been wearing this with that belt that I showed you guys just then. So that is the first one. And then the second one I have, I also mentioned in my monthly favorites for this month, and it is this brown corduroy material. And yeah, it's again, long, super comfy, and a great basic piece for your wardrobe. Next is something that I picked up the other day, actually. I went into factory when I was in the city, and I don't usually go in there because I find that, I don't know, I just don't really like the stuff in there, but what I've realized is that they have some gems. They have some really nice, like, basic pieces that are really affordable. So I picked up this skirt. It is plain black, stretchy, and it is like a ribbed cotton. And the thing I like about the fabric is that it is quite thick. So it basically goes all the way to the ground and that it has splits on both sides of your legs. Next are some jeans. And I got these from Topshop and I've really wanted a pair of nice boyfriend jeans for quite a while now, but I don't really like the really loose ones because I have really big hips and I'm a pear shape, which means that loose jeans probably just aren't going to be that flattering on my body type. But I found these, they're a little bit tighter and they're still super flattering and I think they were $88 and then I got to the counter and the guy was like, that's $38, thanks. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, I swear it's the best thing where that happened. They are light denim and then they are pretty loose, but not too loose. They have rips at the knees and then they go down. These are sort of more of a three quarter length jean on me just because I'm so tall, but I don't mind. I still like the look of them. I also picked up this bag from Aesop's. ASOS. Okay. I also picked up this bag from ASOS. Um, I'm not going to talk about it too much just because I did mention it in my monthly favorites and went on about it forever because I love it. But it's just this brown suede material with some fringe at the bottom and the back is leather and it is a perfect everyday bag. So yep, yeah, picked that one up. And to finish off, I've got a couple of things from Paint It Red. So the first is this black sheer mesh top. And it seems kind of weird and like gothic, but if you style it the right way, it looks absolutely fine. You can wear like a little crop top underneath it or overalls over the top of it. There's so many ways you can style this and I have been wearing it a ton. I also got this black dress from them and it basically crosses over at the front, has this little hole here in the middle and goes all the way down to just like below my knees. It is an a liney style, which is really good because it's super flattering on my body type. And I think most body types would be really flattering with this kind of shape. And the final piece is this top, which is a little bit similar to that dress. The fabric is pretty similar. It's like a quilted material. It's just this navy blue cropped top and the front has that crossing over thing again. And then the sleeves go all the way down and the back just has a zipper all the way down. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you do like try on hauls, make sure you give it a massive thumbs up because um, you guys seem to like them in the past. So let me know if you still want to see them by giving this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!